everybody. I just wanted to check in with you all. Let me start by saying I miss you all terribly. Well, except for Olivia. Say hi, Liv. Hi, everyone. She's stuck with me in quarantine. Um, I hope that everyone is healthy and staying busy. I think that with today being our first day assigning lessons, we have a lot of questions. So I'm going to step out of my comfort zone here and send out a video. Um, I also want to say thanks to my sweet cameraman, Max. Can you say hi, Max? Hi. Hi. <laughs> um, this morning I sent an email out to all of your parents with a list of the things that we want completed this week. We broke that list up into subject areas and then we broke it up into days, Monday through Friday. So every day this week you'll have a math assignment, you'll have an ELA assignment, and a social studies assignment. And those are the things that we're going to work on specifically this week. One of the things I want you to know is all of the assignments for this week only are review. We're doing review specifically so that everybody can get used to this being in a new format. You can get used to getting work and submitting it online. And if we end up being out of school longer than this week, which is a possibility, we just don't know yet, then you'll be ready to go and you'll understand the format. And we will start with new and continued curriculum if the next week of school, if we do end up being out a lot. Um, Olivia has a few questions uh, that I'm being asked quite a bit or that maybe she's getting asked. So I thought if she could pull some of them up, she can ask me and then I can hopefully give you the information that you're going to need. So like some people are asking, do we need to do like 19, lesson 19 through 22 on like spelling and stuff, spelling practice on spelling study? I think um, people are asking. Well, actually, I know people are asking that. So what Ms. Robertson did was she uploaded previous spelling lessons, one that, ones that you have already done, spelling and vocab that you've already completed so that you can review them. And so what that would look like, would you, you do lesson 19 probably on Monday, move to 20 on Tuesday, 21 on Wednesday, 22 on Thursday, and 23 on Friday. And those are specifically for review, information that you already have, so it should just be easy practice for you. And what else someone, do you have? someone texted me, okay, this is like, okay, so someone else texted me and they were wondering what their login information was. Okay, so Olivia's had quite a few questions and so have I about login information. Most of your logins like EdReady, Reflex, um, those logins you already have. Our main page for you to go to right now is Clever. So if you click on our Clever website, you're gonna log into Clever with your Helena School District information. The first piece, your username when you log into Clever, your username is going to be your email address. For example, Olivia's is olinds at helenastudent.org. Yeah, so it's her first initial O, last name Linz at helenastudent.org. And her password is just her student ID number. So that's how you get into Clever. Once you're in Clever, you're going to choose our fifth grade web page. It'll also ask you which school previous to that. And you'll click on Four Georgians. But you'll click on our fifth grade web page. Once you're there, you'll see all the different links for Moby Max. There's lots of lessons in there. Brain Pop, Ed Ready. All of these different things, I have emailed your parents the directions for logging into each specific one of those sites. I'm going to put together a list again today, send it out one more time so that you have it again. I recommend that once I send the email today with all the different sites and their logins, that you actually print it if you can, or take a snapshot of that email with your, on your screen so that you can refer to it really easily. Most of them are revolving around your student ID number and your first and last name or your Helena district email. What else? Um, I'm getting a lot of questions on how to log into Moby Max. So the Moby Max login is just your student ID number twice for username and password. Yeah, so Moby Max, when you log in, the username and the password are both your student ID number. They're the same. When you go to Spelling City, your login information will specifically be your student ID number first with FG following it. So the username is your student ID number, FG, lowercase, and the password is just your student ID number. So Olivia, example of your student ID number um, would be? Would be 10692 one fg and then you go to password, password and it's 10692 one 
Okay, so that's how Livia is going to log on to Spelling City. The rest of your logins should also be in your assignment notebooks and everyone should have their assignment notebooks with them. So your login information should be written down on those assignment notebooks. If you don't have your assignment notebook or you can't remember something, email me and we will get it figured out from there. Any other questions you can think of, Liv, that you're seeing? Uh, I'm seeing questions about Ed Reddy's and social studies login. Oh, I mean, not social studies login. Pardon me. Um, I'm seeing questions on social studies papers and stuff a lot. Okay, so one of the things that you can do with social studies specifically, Miss Morgan sent out a little message this morning. If you're in the Remind app, you would have seen it. And what she said was she's got social studies all review in there, but if you're looking for specific information for the persuasive piece of social studies, you can look online. Or she said there's some great videos in Brain Pop, which is also attached to your Clever page. So you can log into Brain Pop and then click on some uh, links for information in Brain Pop. She said there's some good videos that go along with her social studies there. Any other questions you can think of? Okay, I can think of like a few more okay. about like ELA. Mm -hmm. Everyone's getting so confused on ELA, like what games do we play, how many, and it says right in that email because I read the email myself. So just like read the email. Yeah, so I would recommend, Liv made a good point there in that we really need you to look at the email and read. We did lay it out by day and the ELA piece is laid out for the whole week and you do each day, you choose a certain number of things and you complete them each day. And Miss Robertson, when you go laid it out so that you get some choice in it. So if you would look in your email again that we sent to parents, it gives you the directions and remember hers is every day. Mine is laid out what you do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Miss Morgan's is laid out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday as well. I... Anything, I think that that's probably most of what we have. Um, I think that if you're feeling like because it's a review week, you're needing more challenge because some of this might be pretty easy because you've already done it. Um, what I suggest you do is spend some good time on Ed Ready and then exploring Moby Max. I would recommend that everyone practice those basic math facts. We were working on that in class because I noticed that we had some gaps there and I think it's a good investment in your time to be working on practicing those basic math facts. Uh, also, Ed Ready is going to push you, whatever grade level you're in, it's going to push you in that grade level and hopefully you'll be able to move on. So if you're feeling like you don't have enough work or you're not challenged enough right now, get on and link into some of those websites and do some work there. I also have a question. So does everyone know, because I didn't know this until now, that they have an email and they can log into it on Office 365? That's great. So Olivia did not know that she had her own email account. She knew she had an email address but was using it for login only and not for email. Remember, if you go on to Office 365 and log in, just like we do at school, okay, you're gonna log into Office 365 and normally you're going to things like Word, the Word app, right, to do a lot of your typing for essays. But if you click on the Outlook app, that is your student email. Some of you have already had that set up and are working, on, working through that directly and some of you don't. So it would be worth you clicking on the Outlook link and then you can email me directly that way too. In the email that we sent, I also have Miss Morgan's email, Miss jo or Miss Quincy Robertson's email and my email listed. So if you're searching for those, they're listed right there next to our names in the email. Um, I have another question. Can kids email each other? Yes, kids can email each other, but I would encourage you to make sure that you are remembering that it's a school district email and the things that you send need to make you need to make sure that they're appropriate. Anything else? Um, I think that's all. Okay. Further questions, you guys. If you have questions about math, email me. Questions about ELA, email Miss Robertson. Or questions about social studies, email Miss Morgan. I really hope that everyone is doing well. And don't be afraid to ask questions. Email us if you need it. Um, take care of yourselves. Take care of your families and wash your hands. Bye-bye. We miss you. We miss you.